In a magical kingdom far away, there lived a young princess named Isabella. She was kind, brave, and loved nothing more than exploring the sprawling gardens and grand halls of her castle. One day, while wandering through the castle's many corridors, Princess Isabella stumbled upon a dusty old book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the library. The book was bound in faded leather and covered in intricate gold filigree, and its pages were filled with strange symbols and arcane incantations. Curious, Princess Isabella opened the book and began to read. As she turned the pages, she discovered that the book contained powerful spells that could summon creatures from other worlds, transform ordinary objects into magical artifacts, and even control the forces of nature itself. At first, Princess Isabella was hesitant to try any of the spells. But the more she read, the more she became fascinated by the possibilities that lay before her. And so, with trembling hands, she spoke the words of the first spell she came across. Suddenly, there was a blinding flash of light, and a small dragon appeared before her, its scales shimmering in the glow. Princess Isabella gasped in amazement, and the dragon blinked its big, friendly eyes at her, its long tail swishing back and forth. From that moment on, Princess Isabella spent every spare moment studying the spells in the book and practicing her magic. She summoned creatures from other worlds and sent them back with the flick of her wrist, turned ordinary stones into glittering jewels, and even created a magical flying carpet that could take her anywhere she wanted to go. But as she grew more powerful, Princess Isabella also became more arrogant and careless with her magic. She began to use her spells to bully her servants and intimidate her subjects, and soon the people of the kingdom began to fear her. One day, while flying on her magic carpet high above the castle walls, Princess Isabella suddenly lost control and began to plummet towards the ground. She tried to use her magic to slow her descent, but her powers had deserted her, and she crashed into a tree with a sickening thud. When she opened her eyes, Princess Isabella found herself lying on the ground, surrounded by a group of forest animals. They had seen her fall from the sky and had come to see if she was okay. As she looked around, Princess Isabella realized how foolish she had been. Her love of magic had blinded her to the harm she was causing to others, and she had lost sight of what was truly important in life. From that day on, Princess Isabella vowed to use her magic only for good, and to never forget the lessons she had learned about humility, kindness, and the power of friendship. And though she continued to explore the magic of the world around her, she did so with a newfound respect and reverence, always mindful of the consequences of her actions. In a small village nestled in the rolling hills of the countryside, there lived a young boy named Jack. Jack was an adventurous soul, always eager to explore the world around him and discover new wonders and treasures. One day, while out exploring the woods near his home, Jack stumbled upon a hidden cave. Curious, he ventured inside, and to his amazement, he discovered a glittering pile of treasures stacked high in the center of the cave. Jack's eyes widened in wonder as he surveyed the piles of gold coins, glittering jewels, and ancient artifacts. He knew that such a treasure could make him rich beyond his wildest dreams, and he began to plot how he might be able to take it for himself. But as he reached out to touch one of the shining coins, he heard a deep, rumbling growl emanating from the shadows. Suddenly, a massive dragon appeared before him, its scales glistening in the dim light of the cave. Jack froze in terror, his heart pounding in his chest. But as the dragon drew closer, he noticed something strange. The dragon wasn't angry or aggressive. In fact, it seemed almost friendly. Who are you, little one? The dragon asked, its voice rumbling like distant thunder. I'm Jack, he stammered, still trying to catch his breath. I didn't mean to intrude. I was just exploring. The dragon regarded him thoughtfully for a moment before speaking again. You seem like a brave and curious boy, Jack. Perhaps you would be interested in accompanying me on a journey. Jack's eyes widened in excitement. Where are we going? He asked. The dragon smiled, its sharp teeth glinting in the cave's flickering light. To the ends of the earth and beyond, it replied. And so, Jack set off on a grand adventure with the dragon exploring distant lands and encountering fantastical creatures along the way. 
They battled fierce ogres, braved raging storms, and even delved deep into the heart of a dormant volcano. As they traveled, Jack discovered that the true treasure in life was not gold or jewels, but the experiences and friendships he had gained along the way. And though he eventually returned home with a wealth of stories and memories, he knew that the true riches of life could never be found in a pile of treasure, but in the journey itself. Once upon a time, in a magical forest far away, there lived a family of rabbits. The family consisted of a mother, father, and two baby bonnets named Cotton and Cottontail. The rabbits lived in a cozy burrow under the roots of a giant oak tree and spent their days foraging for food, playing in the sunshine, and exploring the woods around them. One evening, as the sun began to set and the forest grew quiet, Mother Rabbit gathered her little ones close and began to tell them a bedtime story. Once upon a time, she began, there was a great and mighty forest, full of wonder and mystery. In the heart of the forest stood a great oak tree, older than anyone could remember, and said to be home to a powerful fairy queen. Cotton and Cottontail listened intently as their mother wove her tale, their eyes growing heavy with sleep as she spoke. The fairy queen was a wise and benevolent ruler, Mother Rabbit continued, and she was said to grant wishes to anyone who found their way to her tree. But finding the tree was no easy task, for it was hidden deep within the forest, and only those who were pure of heart and brave of spirit could hope to reach it. Cotton and Cottontail snuggled closer to their mother, the sound of her voice lulling them into a gentle slumber. But one day, Mother Rabbit whispered softly. A young rabbit named Thumper decided that he would be the one to find the fairy queen's tree. He set out on his journey, determined to prove his worth and earn the queen's favor. As Mother Rabbit spoke, Cotton and Cottontail's breathing grew slow and steady, their dreams filled with visions of brave rabbits and magical forests. Thumper traveled for many days and nights, Mother Rabbit continued, her voice growing softer and softer through dense forests and over treacherous mountains until he finally reached the heart of the forest where the great oak tree stood tall and proud. Cotton and Cottontail were fast asleep now, their little bodies rising and falling with the rhythm of their mother's tail. And there, beneath the shade of the great oak tree, Mother Rabbit whispered, her voice barely more than a whisper. Thumper found the fairy queen, waiting for him with open arms. She granted him three wishes, and Thumper used them wisely, making his family and friends happy and secure for the rest of their days. With a final, gentle kiss on each of her children's foreheads, Mother Rabbit drifted off to sleep herself, her dreams filled with visions of a magical forest and the brave rabbits who called it home.